Okay, so, okay, man of a thousand hats here. Um, the kid of a thousand caps was just asking me, he said the other day, a dodolo 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 dodolo, -do 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 -do, which means, that -da can cactuses be turned into charcoal? And while we know that cactuses are mostly water, they are of plant fiber. They can get rather no. sturdy. Um, no. I've seen cactuses in excess of 10 or 12 no. feet tall, just these prickly pears. So we're going to find out today uh, with absolute certainty whether or not we can char cactus. Yo. Okay, step one is going to be chop off some cactus pads. We're going to use this, which is supposed to be a brush axe, but uh, it died before its time. My goal here is going to be to cut off individual pads, mostly. But we are going to want to get down to the thick stuff. So I'm going to whack down as much of this as I can fit in my uh, retorts chamber. And uh, we'll come back when I'm all set to start burning it. Okay, so here's the carnage we did thus far. Now i got to make sure pretty much everything fits in this tub. This tub seems to be about the right amount. Gives me about 10 pounds of mesquite wood, so anything that won't fit in there is going to have to be chopped down smaller. Moving on. Alright, so here we are. It's our cactus. Over here I've got a little bit of uh, old failed charcoal, oak charcoal down there. i got another can about this size. This can of wood produced two batches of mesquite charcoal. So um, I'm using, where'd my pile of wood go? I'm using chopped up, I don't even know what, just stuff that's growing around clogging up my property. Um, so I've got another barrel here in the, in the dungeon of the uh, Castle of a Thousand Spires. Um, so there's my other my other ten of wood there. We'll be burning through probably part of that today, and on to the next step. We gotta close it up and light it. All right. All right. Now we're using a slightly different uh, ignition method here. Light small cloth scraps in the box. Once they get good and caught, which they seem to be, close the box up. Start stacking in wood on top of it. All right. All right, stand by. Okay, for those of you not familiar with the process, uh, the goal here, we've lit the fire underneath the retort chamber. Uh, the area from here up is an open uh, chamber. Well, not open, it's sealed now because it's sealed with a ring. Um, this is where we put the cactus we light a fire, any wood gases, or in this case it's going to be mostly steam, it's going to come up through the pipe, down, back into a burner, or what's supposed to be a burner, up in there, and that will allow the wood gases to be reburnt. Um, I don't expect there to be enough wood gas to actually get the burner working on this, but it'll produce a lot of steam 
Um, I might build a device here soon to help us try to figure out how much water might be in uh, a particular grouping of cactuses. So uh, keep an eye out for that if I can figure out how I'm going to do it. Alright, stand by for further developments. Okay, we've got a few curls of something. Not sure whether it's steam or wood gas smoke escaping from the drum. It's been burning for approximately two hours. And that, oh, sorry, it's been burning for approximately two hours. And that's about all we've gotten out of it. I'm going to uh, fuel it up and let it burn overnight and we'll crack it open in the morning and see how it looks okay here we are the next day all the ashes have burned down we went through this whole barrel and about a quarter of this barrel of fuel plus some other stuff i gathered up so definitely not a very fuel efficient uh, endeavor here so I'm gonna get the tools out and we're gonna open this thing up and see what the uh, what those cactus pads look like okay so there's what we've got there was looks like just way too much moisture in these for me to drive out with the amount of heat that I had. Um, they're still pretty green and slimy. You have this really wet goo in there, which means that uh, simply not worth the amount of fuel that you'd have to burn to try to turn this stuff into charcoal unless you can find a way to dehydrate it first so okay so some of it did the stuff down near the very very bottom did manage to char a little bit focus so we sort of kind of got an idea of what we're looking for here Focus. Can't even see if it's focusing with the glare on the screen. Well, if I can get this to come into focus, you'll be able to see. Ah. There we go. You can see it's sort of charred in there some other pieces but it was only basically on the bottom that it got charred um, so there's kind of what the structure looks like it's got white specks in it probably organic stuff it's actually ashed Anyway, so that's what we have concluded. The next experiment is going to be to chop up some cactus and see if we can't distill the water out of it. Which might be easier to do than charring it. We'll see. Alright, until next time, snappy catchphrase.